Thank you for being here for our 31st Sculpture Survey. One of the very important components of our survey is the Professor Haruyuki from Japan that would like to introduce and just to say a few words. Professor Haruyuki. Yeah. Thanks very much for coming to our exhibition today. I am very happy and honored to open this exhibition in my favorite country, Australia. <laughs> Thanks very much, Long and Terry. I love pass good country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Ariyuki. We have had a long association, a cultural exchange with Japan, and uh, for this sculpture survey, we made him a, 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 as, a, as a distinguished invited artist to, to have his uh, solar show here with us with indoor and outdoor work. As you can see by the quality of the work and his magnetism, playing on words with his works, they all have magnets and without sort of getting too carried away, you can see the, 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 the wonderful balance that the sculpture decides in itself. So we are very honored to have his exhibition here. The other West Australian component of, of the survey is the students from Curtin and Edith Cowan Universities. Dr Neen Schwartz has been working really hard to, to encourage and to, to oversee and help as many students as possible for our 31st um, survey. So working alongside Neen and Terry Gombok who is with a great deal of patience once again endured whatever it takes to put the show on because without Terry this wouldn't happen, believe me. My name's Neen Schwartz and I teach sculpture, art and environment at Edith Cowan University. I've been there for about 12 years I think, maybe 14 years and every year uh, the students have been involved working here at Gombok Gallery for about 12 weeks which culminates with the Gombok Gallery Sculpture Survey. Edith Cowan is delighted to be part of the 31st annual Gombok Sculpture Survey. It's such a fantastic event and all the students enrolled in sculpture, art and environment are required at the beginning of the semester, so that's in March, to choose a site outdoors here of their choice and to create a work in response to that site. So we come here for a class, uh, all 25 of us, and we walk around the property and I ask students to migrate to different sites of their choice. 
And then they do an analysis of that site. So we start with a, a subjective site analysis where they write about their experiences and their feelings in response to a site of their choice. Then they write a proposal based on their experience of being on the site here at the sculpture, in the sculpture park. My name is Jeanette, Jeanette Vernoy. Um, I'm from the Netherlands. I go to ACU to get my uh, degree in visual art. My work is called Ontspannen. Ontspannen means um, calm. A hammock gives you the opportunity to lay in it, to contemplate, to dream, whatever you want to do. Um, it is related to the site, so it is in this case site specific, related to the trees. The materials I've used are related to the earth. It's made from wire. Wire, um, in the end, it comes from iron ore, so it's given by the earth. The wood sticks I used relate to the trees. The figures are made then from wire um, by hand. The heads are made winding around the sprinkler and the body are made winding it around the spray can. Sculpture survey today is um, it's, it's, it's nice, it's good and I think it is absolutely fantastic and wonderful of uh, the family Gombok to give our students this opportunity.
student semester. So they all had their had to have their works finished by the 25th of May, a week before the exhibition opens. And that's just to make sure that the works can withstand the winter weather conditions. We've had lots of rain this week, but also to prepare the, the catalogue, which uh, Ron and Terry so generously also sponsor every year. So that, that is this wonderful um, sculpture survey catalogue. And so all the students have their names in that and the titles of their artworks as well. With respect to the students' works, I'm very proud of them. Uh, a lot of them have worked incredibly hard during the semester. Uh, some of them have worked really hard to develop new skills in the workshop, whether that's welding or woodworking or working with fiberglass. A lot of students have chosen to work quite ephemerally, so they're working with biodegradable materials or recycling materials. And that's really important in the context of how I teach with respect to sculpture, art and environment. So my name is Caitlin Dominey. I'm studying at Edith Cowan University. This is my, my third year, my graduating year of visual arts. Um, for this sculpture, it started as a site-specific work here at the Gombok Sculpture Park and Gallery. Um, I was initially fascinated with the patterns that I could find in the bark of the trees and um, those sorts of micro landscapes um, inspired me to do a larger abstracted work that explored those patterns um, and from there the work sort of developed into an exploration of our impact on our environment uh, which is the conceptual development which led me to the colour, the bright fluorescent yellow colour. The name itself is a bit of a, um, a link back to how I made it. Um, I've titled it La Layer Cake. Um, and how I've made it is by taking layers of um, polystyrene foam which I have cut into specific shapes and then stacked on top of each other and um, then coated it with many layers of paint and epoxy resin. Um, so yeah, it's really about how um, we impact our environment in Western Australia particularly, um, but also it is just an exploration of shape and form and movement and line, um, which is really just supposed to be lovely to look at.
of the other exhibitors here today is a collaborative team, actually, Norton Flavel and Graham Burge. Now, both those um, young men were students uh, in sculpture many years ago, and they both are employed now as technicians at Edith Cowan University. The Norton Flavel, uh, who's been collaborating with Graham, they've produced this innovative work uh, in the gallery today. They have collaborated on what's called uh, blast sculpture. So Norton runs a, a blast works company, and this is new cutting edge research actually, where they've produced a sculpture based on an explosion. Um, Graham um, finished, I think, his studies maybe two or three years ago and entered into the June Delap Invitational Art Award and actually won the prize that year, which was a $10,000 award. when I came to Perth from Canberra and they've just been absolutely amazing supporters of sculpture and the visual arts in the Perth region and they really are to be so highly commended for um, their energy, their generosity, their support and particularly for the students. Um, at Edith Cowan University we try to give students as many professional experiences as possible so meaningful experiences as students and Ron and Terry have really endorsed that by allowing students to exhibit annually here at Gombok Sculpture Survey. And that also um, encourages students then to apply to uh, exhibitions such as Sculpture by the Sea and group exhibitions. So that professional practice that the Gombox endorse is absolutely valuable for everyone concerned. Congratulations to the students. Uh, that have actually created some really interesting work in the grounds. Thank you, Dr. Neil Schwartz, and of course, once again, uh, Professor Haruyuki and his lovely assistant, Kyoko. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.